This is Astro 2005 Prius. I'm going to change its oil. We're going to start by jacking it up right here. This is my antique galvanized steel oil pan. You can see some oil in there from a previous oil change. We're going to slip this under the car here. Here's the uh, new crush washers and a Toyota oil filter. Here's the drain bolt. I've got a magnet on the front right here. Use a paper towel here to clean up this drain bolt. A new crush washer installed. Down to a slow trickle now. Most of the oil is out. You can see the black funk contaminated. You can tell by the color of the stream. It's pretty burned. This is what I call an in-between oil change. This car has 140,000 miles, so it um, fouls the oil a little faster. Piston blow by and stuff. It happens to old engines, so I change the oil a little more frequently now than I used to. Well, there's the old crush washer. It's stuck to the drain. We'll pop that off. I like to pre-prime my oil filters. Add some fresh oil to the inside of the filter. That. I always like to pre-oil my filter. Just um, put some fresh oil in there. This is a screw-on underneath kind of filter. So the fresh oil helps prime the filter. Just reinstall the drain bolt here, like this. Finger tight at first. And we'll use our crescent wrench. All right, and then we'll put the magnet back on there. This is my torque wrench and the special tool I'm gonna to use to remove the oil filter. It self tightens. As you um, tighten it, it clamps down on the edge of the oil filter, making it easy to unscrew it. The socket extension helps me access it. That's the oil drain pan and the oil filter right there. All right, now we've cleaned up the area with a paper towel. We're gonna reach up there and install a new oil filter. Just lightly thread that on like this. All right. Now we need to add fresh motor oil. We're gonna start by removing this filter cap right here, like this. We'll set that down right there. Now I'm gonna take my custom 3D printed filler, which makes it easy to fill without spilling. Insert it there like that. And then we're gonna add um, four times 800 mil of 5W30 oil, 800 milliliters of oil, like this. And we're gonna repeat this procedure four more times. We put all the spent motor oil uh, from this drain pan into this canister here, and I'll take it to the local auto parts store for recycling. This is um, pretty funky smelling because it has combustion blow by products in it. That happens when the engine's combustion gases squeak past the rings on an old engine and enter the motor oil. You want to change your motor oil regularly. I do it more often than recommended. That preserves the life of the cam chain in an engine that's well designed and the bearings, the valve train, all the friction surfaces last longer if they have nice clean oil. So change your oil. It's pretty easy on older cars. We'll see on my next video on the 2010 why the oil filter housing is an absolute nightmare. Thanks Toyota.